How does one repent from being LGBT? People have asked, so let's answer them. Biblical repentance occurs when a person agrees with God about their sin and turns away from it. Repentance begins in one's mind and is evidenced by a changed disposition, changed words, and changed actions. With that understanding, let's take a closer look at the question, how does one repent from being LGBT? Being is a word of identity. Implicit with this word is the feeling that I cannot change, this is my orientation, how can I change who I am? The mistake is to believe what someone desires to do is who they are. The LGBTQ community thinks that God determines desire and desire determines identity. And so they lay the blame for their desire upon God. But the Bible tells us God determines identity and commands what we must desire. For example, God makes us male or female, and according to that assigned identity, He commands how we are to think and speak and act. Listen, while you have the ability to do what you desire, you do not have the right to think, act, and speak in a way that contradicts His commands. He's our Creator. He sets the rules. He sets the boundaries. In Matthew 19, 4 through 6, Jesus reaffirms the Bible's boundaries around sexuality, stating that sex is to be between one man and one woman within the covenant of marriage. He therefore prohibits all sexual sins that fall outside that God-made boundary. Repentance starts when we stop believing desire determines identity and believe that God determines identity and commands what we must desire. Stop blaming God for sin. Jesus says that our outward sin comes from our inward evil desire. And evil desires are to be turned away from as sin, not embraced as an identity. The choice to indulge in inward sinful desire, even at a young age, belongs exclusively to the sinner. And though this sin is now one that easily entangles, there's hope. When we turn from our sin, both the thought and the act, and turn to Jesus by faith, He frees us from the slavery of sin. The Bible tells us there is hope of repentance in 1 Corinthians 6, 9-11, through when it points out that the church in Corinth had people who formally identified with their sexual sin, fornicators, adulterers, homosexuals, but were now washed, sanctified, and justified.